Hello everyone. Uh, oh, I'm a bit close. Welcome. Zdravo svima. Zdravo svima. Dobro došli. I'm the Zdravo translator. Ljudi. <laughs> Zdravo ljudi, kako ste? Kako si Maki? Dobro sam. Ti? Dobro. Super. Hoću da spavam. <laughs> Odlično. <laughs> Guys, we're not doing this in the morning, so uh, it's like after our work. So it is what it is. Mm. We're not drinking coffee, but... Yeah, I had two cups of coffee today oh wow that's so intense yeah that was yeah i found this tasty coffee and i like the taste and Turkish? so i think no it's a filter coffee okay okay a bio coffee so it was i hope it's not that unhealthy <laughs> it's just uh it's just coffee you'll be fine <laughs> like students who you know who work who study a lot right were yes, you a yes. coffee drinker when you were a student Never. No, never. Okay, it's, it's actually quite funny because a lot of my friends, after their study days, um, they were, they like regular, like religiously drank coffee. <laughs> and I don't know, my flatmate just, and I didn't, as far as I remember, we never needed to. It's not that we never did. Sometimes, sure. I don't even think we had Jasva in our apartment, actually. So, But we were having Nescafe when we were in high schools. That is true. That is true. I don't remember buying them. It was kind of like survival mode. Like I just need food. Mm. <laughs> I didn't have I didn't have money for all these coffees. Uh, I did when I went to my master studies in Austria. Uh, for a while, I did for like a while, like a month or two, not a lot, because they had these like um, machine. Um, what are they called? A machine. Sorry, coffee machines. Coffee machines. Yeah. Coffee. So you know the instant ones. They uh-huh. were like just like coffee and sugar, like it's the coffee, sugar, maybe a bit of milk. So that was quite cheap. So I did that for a while, but then I was like, well, I don't need coffee. So I just had it. it. But it's different. Exam period. Mm-hmm. That's a different thing. Yes, then we did, but only it's like not, one. Hmm? Yeah, it's not because you love it, but you need it because you need to stay awake. That's we had funny. a specific way, like we would make <laughs> coffee, and we heard that if you uh you know how we do like we put water and then we boil it and take it off and then we put coffee and then put it back on and then and then if you want it to be stronger to have more coffee that you would do that several times like <laughs> so like the more you kind of like put it back on the stove apparently at least that's what we heard that would like give you even more like you wouldn't be able to sleep because we had sometimes we pulled all all nighters right mm. so uh so yeah So, but that was only during exams. It was like hardcore. Okay. Exams, because today we're going to talk about education, right? Yeah, we answered the topic with coffee. First coffee part of education, done. Exactly. <laughs> And uh, now the we're system. Not, now the system. <laughs> we're not going to talk about the university. I think we should save that for another time because that will, yeah. this will be a long episode. But we are going to talk about education like up to Mm -hmm. like high to the up to the university which is called obrazovanie obrazovanie yes i heard that too yeah and there are lots of uh, parts you know different levels of schooling and one thing that i learned recently i didn't know that um like preschool is compulsory here yeah i think it is actually yeah Which I, I, I think that's great. <laughs> that's great, yeah. In Turkey, I don't know if the rules changed, but I wish it was compulsory in Turkey too. Well, I don't really know what you would do without preschool because for us, like, it's very common that um, both parents work. So, But grandparents are always there. So They that's... are, but, but they, like, now they, the age of retiring is much more pushed, mm. right? so lifted so so it's it's very difficult it would be very difficult not to have preschool and i mean i mean i don't really know if it's obligatory but but i i mean that's i think that's great and also because mm-hmm. for many reasons i think it's amazing for them to be in social situation and so on exactly exactly yeah. so preschool how do we say nursery nursery and i went to nursery as well um i remember it vividly because i hid one guy one little boy <laughs> <laughs> He was pulling my ponytail and I just hit him. Uh, so it's called Yaslice. 
Yes, it's say. Is it plural? Yes, it's say. Yes, yes. Mm. Um, I don't know why. Don't ask me. And don't worry. Don't worry. It's just <laughs> yeah. because I hear it say at the end. We have a lot of actually like plural uh, uh. nouns that don't have a singular. I mean, they are derived from a, usually from a feminine singular. Mm. So that's why a, right? But they, you can say yaslitsa as far as I know. So I see. Uh, okay. so that's from six to six months to three years, mm. something like that. And then you get to uh, zabavishte, which is kindergarten. Mm. I'm going to be honest. I'm not, we have several ways of saying zabavishte. And I'm not quite sure if there is a, a clear difference. Uh, but th- they call it zabavishte, obdanishte, and vrtich. Mm, I yes, see. completely right. different roots, different words. But it usually means the same thing because I don't think that we have like different levels. Um, mm. So it still means kindergarten. But uh, quite recently, I talked to my sister and she said, she was like, I think there's a difference between Zabavish and Vratich. And, and she's like, I'm not quite sure. Like one of them is like a structured kind of like more like a cool school system i think and one of them is like more just like a social whatever but for this purpose i think if you say or it, it means the same thing everybody will understand everybody will uh-huh. understand i don't think anyone okay. will see so from three years old to six years old kids yeah. six uh, seven depends where when you're born mm. right and so on um important there the teacher is called uh, male vaspitach <laughs> and female vaspitachitsa. Oh, yeah, I learned that in the course, Serbian course, actually. Yeah, the teacher for uh, kindergarten and primary school are not teachers. Like, they are different names. They're called different, yeah. Because mm-hmm. they're, they're, they're not really teaching you a lot. They're just, like, like being there, like making sure that everyone's okay and like guiding you maybe through some songs uh-huh. and so on. Like, Does it mean like somebody carer or take yeah. care? Mm-hmm. Someone who's like a, it's like a babysitter in essence. And sure, we do sing over there and uh, play some games sometimes, but you're not really learning anything. And I mean, mm-hmm. you are learning many things, but like in a structured way, right? And yeah. Um, and you can do extracurricular kind of things. You can learn how to play. You can learn English, but it's not mm-hmm. obligatory. Yeah. And what I realized here in Kushevats, um, there is this public kindergarten and it doesn't have walls. Like it's inside the park. And, you know, the other one in the center, which is not in the park, it has like the door and everything. You can't just go in. But where I run, most of the time I see the kids I, I can see the classrooms inside <laughs> and you know the playground is open to the park and p- park is open to the public so that was like quite eye-opening for me because you know yeah. the safety issues and stuff were crazy in Turkey about that and here it's just open public the parents come whenever they want you know yeah I found it like this secure place <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I don't think we have a lot of like instances of like crazy things happening. At least I don't really mm-hmm. remember stories of that. Maybe now, but I don't know. But uh, before, when I was, we have a, a fence. Like we had a fence when I was younger. Mm-hmm. But for example, we had three kindergartens in the same on the same plot, and they were not uh, physically separated. Uh, each had their own like little playground playground yeah uh but yeah we were like all mingling so uh Mm -hmm. and now now they started locking the kindergarten you know it's kind of quite weird but i want to at least in my city this happened um like druggies would hang out in kindergartens after like in the night during the night and i think this is because we don't have like a lot of parks or like a um benches that are like complete benches but they're like half taken like the the wood like the this has been taken or stolen or whatever or sometimes they steal benches from the the ground um so yeah so i think this is just like the oh you always have somewhere to sit over there and like you know you're secluded no one's going to the kindergarten mm-hmm. so sometimes they're like a uh, shady shady people over yeah there. 
completely different venue for yeah. like, during the day and during the night. Crazy. The same for the one that I'm mentioning because it's in the park. Park is open, so obviously people go there to smoke or you know. Yeah. Well, smoking as well it doesn't have to be drug Smo- use, smoke like, weed smoke. i mean or oh, okay yeah but i think when you know it can be also just like teenagers that are like trying smoking for the first time and yeah. Like, uh-huh. yeah yeah we also also used to hang out over there when i was in my uh like when i was like 14 or something and then we would like uh, hang out with friends and then we would go there as well so it's not just <laughs> druggies of course but it's like a because it's such an such a convenient place right it has everything it has benches it has like all these like it has a playground nice view yeah beautiful place exactly good and then we come to elementary yes which i think i didn't quite know how to call it because for us this is like uh, eight years lasts for eight years i think Mm -hmm. elementary or primary in in the uk is i think it's like four or five years i'm not really sure or maybe six yeah but there are some four plus four plus fours or five plus threes like different uh strategies we have but here it is eight together or Uh, eight all together these Mm -hmm. years will like differ a bit but it's one school that you're going to Mm, so it's one one building one institution you're not changing it right so you're still going to the same school and uh, we call it osnovna škola which is osnovna mm-hmm. osnova is like a base so it's like a uh, element it's basically like elementary primary like i see yeah. yeah so the 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 interesting thing starts that from the first till the f- till the fourth uh, grade um it's you are with one teacher and that is and he is učitelj mm-hmm. or učiteljica for a woman yeah okay so you have only one teacher mm-hmm. that comes and, from učiti so that's like teacher exactly that's teacher yes, right that's exactly <laughs> then from the fifth to the eighth or to the eighth how do you say it? till the eighth to the eighth from the fifth to the yeah, eighth, to the whatever. eighth grade uh-huh. to the eighth grade you have um one teacher per uh, topic like per subject yeah yeah did you have that too the, yeah, definitely but oh, in my okay. time it was from one to five five to eight now it's also in Czech one to four okay and four to eight but you mean you wrote nastavnik so that nastavnik means um even if you are an English teacher or math teacher or biology teacher, you are a Nastavnik, or is it like two, like one class has one teacher still, like maybe some class has a main teacher, like the head teacher or something. Okay, you have one teacher that's responsible for your class um, and that's called Razredni or Razredna. I will actually write uh-huh. it down. Razredni, Razredna. Razredna, okay. yeah. Uh, they are responsible for you but they are a teacher from only one subject. So that means that they're only there as a figure. If there's some issue with like our class, then then people come Mm -hmm. to them. But we still have one um, nastavnik or nastavnica for each subject. Okay. When it comes to subject, I was curious and I also checked the curriculum here. I think you wrote the like the main courses but there's also i think how to call them like uh compulsory elective courses right like courses compulsory courses compulsory elective courses okay so it it depends well for a uh, for osnovna škola mm-hmm, for osnovna škola yeah. you have some additional ones if you want to but yeah there are some compulsory it's like these you have to have so okay the two main ones are Serbian Serbsky. And... <laughs> Serbsky. so yeah I, I wrote I think I hear I wrote a lot of like shortened versions of everything because I think it would just be like a lot of text but Serbsky Yazik mm-hmm. right so Serbsky we just say Serbsky yeah. um math matematica matematica mm. mm-hmm. there's no shortcut they don't just say mat <laughs> in <laughs> Turkish we say yeah we say matish Matish. That's funny. It's like making joke of it, you know. Matish. 
<laughs> yeah, let me, it's actually, a, I, I found it, I was like trying to think, like, how did we say it, you know, Matish, yeah. Matish, okay, good. Then we have a combined uh, lecture or like a subject, which is natural and social sciences, mm. uh, which we call Priroda i društvo. Priroda is nature, mm -hmm. right? And društvo is society. Ah, oh, priroda mm. i društvo. Yeah. Okay. Druženje. Druženje is to hang out, like yeah. hanging yeah. out. Then we have uh, muzičko, which is music. And there we have, uh, I think there we still don't, we don't have to know how to play an instrument. I think that's a, not a compulsory thing. But we do mm. need to, actually, wait. I think we need to know how to play like the simplest songs on the keyboard. And to do mm. this like, tuck, tuck, I don't know how you call it. You know, like yeah. to follow the rhythm. The rhythm yeah. exercise. And, and for us, it's flute. <laughs> oh, flute. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know why. I think we can, I think we can pick which one we can, but I don't remember really playing it a lot, actually. Yeah. So anyway. Okay. Actually, yes, we need, to, we call this synthesizer, which synthesizer. is, a, <laughs> yeah, which is like the keyboard, like the, uh -huh. the like, you know, these like basic <laughs> ones. <laughs> yeah. Then we have painting, uh, which is Likovno. That's uh, interesting name. I was so, expecting something about boya or something. Like yeah, and actually, it's like art, uh -huh. um, but I don't know why it's likovno. I I can't really figure it out. Does likovno mean like art or no? Umetnost is art. Likovno. Oh man, I don't know. But it's mostly focused on painting. Uh, ah, I see. We do we do a bit of like sculpturing as well and so on, like basic things, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, like with terracotta you know like the ones that you can bake uh but yeah it's, it's it's mostly just uh, painting i don't know why it's like <laughs> then a uh, leak of no i I'm, I'm guessing it's um before we continue with the show here's a quick reminder this podcast is free for everyone and supported by listeners like you we hope that this podcast is useful and companion to you this is a labor of love for both of us to help us continue creating useful content for everyone, we will appreciate your help. If you have the means, you can support us in different ways. You may just go to buymeacoffee.com slash podcast and send us some cups of coffee. You may also become a member of our show on patreon.com slash podcast and get extra benefits like bonus content, full transcripts of the show in Serbian, or even join us on the show. We rely on your support to help everyone more in learning Serbian language and culture. Thanks for joining us today. And now let's get back to our episode. Obrazovanje. That's why it's likovno, right? I think it's muzičko, muzičko, muzička nastav. I don't know. I'm going to have to check the, the full name. But, but this is yeah. like how we by default use it. Um, mm -hmm. PE. Uh, fizičko. <laughs> Physical. Yeah. That sounds like physics, but it's actually yeah. It's, it's physical, physical, right? And then mm. physical, but it's not. I see. Physical, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I was like trying to figure it out. Then uh, I didn't have this, but now I think they have a foreign language, and mm. I think it's Engleski. usually English. Mm. So it's Engleski, mm. I think. Okay. And then you can have, but you don't have to, have additional lectures, uh, which is like music, sing, like singing, painting. So music, like I think playing or whatever. Mm. So they, it really just depends on the on the school and so on. If they were at, like they offer, uh, I don't know how it's called. I don't know if it's dopunska nastava or I don't know, but it's like someone would approach you and tell you, hey, this teacher, like want this učitelj or učiteljica they're mm -hmm. organizing a choir so do you want an uh. addition right and then you would just go there or they say hey there's like I went to when I was younger like uh, to my like uh, up until my fourth grade I went to actually for painting mm -hmm. so I think I would have an additional hour hour and a half something like that on one day I would stay after school and I would I would paint yeah so theater cool. plays would be another option probably 
I guess so. I'm guessing. I don't, no one offered me. I mean, no one offered uh -huh. us, but I think it just really depends on, is there someone the who's doing that? Like, you know, exactly. Yeah. On the teacher and on the school. They have time if they want to do it and mm -hmm. so on. Cool. Good. And five to eight. Five to eight. You have Nastavnik or Nastavnica. And now you have subject, more subjects, obviously. Serbia. But some of them stay the same, like Srpski. Srpski Matematica. <laughs> Matish, yeah. These are the ones that you have, like, uh, that you, after eight years, we have, like, this thing called Mala Matura, which is where you have to pass the exam. And mm -hmm. based on that, you get into high school. Um, so, yeah. And you have that celebration, right? So how is it called? Prom. Prom, yeah. Uh, and yeah. so Mala Matura is both. It's, like, doing the exam and then going out and celebrating, like, the prom. So, and we used to do that for Srpski and Matematika. I think now they have more subjects. So that's why Srpski Matematika, they like stay always, for some reason, they're like by default, like two of the most important subjects. See. Was that the Do same you, in Turkey? Yeah, Turkish and math. I always yeah, like, yeah. Even, even when you go to university, still you take some Turkish literature, whatever you're studying. Oh, crazy. History, whatever. And psychology is one of them as well. But um, one question there uh Srpski this time it has more like literature side or is it still like a grammar side or a combination in, in five to eight grades it's uh five to eight it's half half I have to say mm. it's grammar and and read maybe it's a bit more grammar actually maybe it's a bit more grammar I see okay I so. and then you have reading which we call lectia Lectira is like books that are allocated to read for eat, like in each in, great. In, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Compulsory books, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they call them lectira. Yeah. Okay. Then foreign language, right? Um, and you call it as you call the language. It's either Engliski or Nemachki, which is German, mm -hmm. or Francuski, or maybe Spanski, Ruski. Mm hmm. And then you have the second, uh, now I think you have the second foreign language, and then it just really depends on what it is, right? Again, so cool. Call it like that. That's, uh, that's true. I was thinking of mine. Yeah, we also have German and French. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so that history, historia. You just <laughs> take yeah. H out, historia. <laughs> historia, yeah, exactly. Historia, like in Spanish. I'm just thinking, yeah. I think in Croatian, they use historia. Anyway, um, mm. geografia. Geografia. Mm. Okay, easy to say. Biologia. Biologia. Yeah. Mm. I'm not translating and these because I guess that you guys know what it's so clear. <laughs> Fizika, I can definitely say that. Fizika, <laughs> Fizika exactly. versus fizičko. <laughs> yes. Exactly, physical, physical. Uh, then we get to the tricky one, which I don't know how to translate because we call it technicko, and it, it sounds like tech and so on. We we focus on many things. We do focus like on tech, uh, so we focus a bit on like I think we did a bit of computer, not nothing much, just like typing. But it's like mm -hmm. mostly uh, learning about your surrounding, learning about like. Uh, how to use tools, learning how to draw like uh, dimensions, right? Like, a, mm. you know, like a, how do you call it? Like a carpenter. I don't know how to explain it. Like, like do these practical things. Uh, also think about, oh yeah, we learned about um, the like uh, signs on the road. So it's like kind of just getting a familiar with your surrounding and the society, like the rules in the society, I guess. I see. That's a cool class, I think. Yeah. Moja razredna je bila iz tehničkog. Razredna is the, you know, the head. Um, ah, the head, head teacher. Of us. Yeah, so she was, she was doing that. Yeah. That's cool. We had like arts and crafts where we learned the materials and produced something out of them. That's, 
that could have been yeah so but but this one was not a lot about like you had, didn't really have a lot of freedom right it was just like mm. do the dimensions and cut it and i will grade you on how well you cut it and like you know send it basically <laughs> so it wasn't like be creative you know it was I just see. like um musicko musicko and likono right this will Fizicko. stay <laughs> and uh hemia 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 comes in, yes. Hemia comes in uh, in the seventh grade because, uh, well, I, I was I was also surprised why, uh, but I think it I think it has something to do with like conceptualization and that you can't really like get these ad things while you're mm -hmm. like I don't know like ten, and that's why it comes in in the seventh grade. I think that's the reason why. Maybe they I just see. thought it's not as as like important, so we didn't want to burden them, but we still wanted to introduce them into it. So maybe that's the reason. Yeah. I see. Cool. So for the last two years, you have hemia. Hemia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And informatica uh, e So actually, I think uh, I made a mistake with technical. So this is where we would do like um, uh, the play, computer play around. Yeah. So it's like touch typing, how fast you type, using mm -hmm. paint using like uh like editing photos or uh also learning like now when i think about it, learning the algorithm it's like it's, it's like actually some advanced stuff but i think yeah so that's what we had but i don't remember it that much i, I feel like we didn't really do much with it but yeah. probably that was like one hour per week kind of class right yeah oh it, we, our classes are 45 minutes actually mm hmm yeah, so it's a uh, forty-five minutes, nice. and then uh, breaks are five minutes, and mm -hmm. then uh, we would, from the grade one to four, we would stay in one room, and from grade five to eight, we would have to change rooms. Yeah, and uh, so those five minutes you basically use to change the room, and uh, and so you have, and the 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 bigger break is fifteen minutes only. I see, so, and I was so. Uh, so that there are two semesters you call them polygodishte right polygodishte yeah yeah that's true and those two semesters are divided into two quarters is it ah, like the yeah. Trome Trome oh that's good where did you i forgot about that yes Trome i'm a that's teacher true. so i'm curious about all these things obviously yeah. like how many public holidays they have you have five holidays at school yes that's oh you're so very, I'm very impressed. But yeah, trauma city, that's true. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, so, and then you have, if you if you get accepted, you have the choir. Mm -hmm. yeah, but you don't have to do that. That's not necessary. Okay. For, I saw that for the fifth to eighth grades, um, those compulsory elective courses on the, you know, Ministry of Education's website. That's why I'm maybe, it's not updated or maybe it's something new that you didn't have those uh courses elective but compulsory elective courses are religious education um, languages and civics it says and what civics oh what was oh yeah yeah i know what that is yeah yeah, yeah. no yeah. uh we didn't have that no and uh, now maybe yes, now, now they may they might have because i was curious about the religious courses which is kind of compulsory in turkish System. and yeah. we always have a quarrel about it we don't have, want to have them and stuff some people want to have them on so <laughs> so we had that in uh like compulsory but like you choose between the two of them and we don't get the grade in high school so it would be religion or civics yeah nice i like it more <laughs> which we say yeah we say um uh gradiansko is civics so gradian is like a, uh oh my god citizens so uh, it's like it's like our like what are our rights so we talked mm -hmm. a lot about that uh we debated a lot and so on i think it was i think it was great and then um oh my god verska nastava verska nastava is a uh, religion mm, i see so at the end of the eighth year they have this final exam you called mala matura right yes mala matura mala is like small small matura yes something like that? Oh, yes okay. yeah <laughs> it's that so it's, it's important for them it's big for those kids probably like yeah that it, it is actually big because it's based on that you would get in the high school you want and based on the high school you would get into the university so it's like 
it's like a big mm. deal, you know. So I mean, especially for the families as well. Yes, and uh, yeah. exactly. So you have before how it was. It was Serbian and math, and then you get like a like a book with many like it's actually questions and answers. Oh, well, actually, it's mm. yeah, questions and answers. Um, so the answers you can check. And then some of them don't have answers, obviously, but, um, and then there was like some of the questions there and there's like hundreds and hundreds of questions, you might get some of them. So at least you can prepare, you know, because uh, you had all the questions and answers, you just have to sit down and, and do them. Study them. Is that exam like held on one specific day where all the kids- took Everywhere. At the same? Yeah, okay. everywhere. Uh-huh. And it's a, I think it's the same in every, in, in the whole of Serbia. The whole country, I, I yeah. see. I think okay. we have left uh, secondary education. I will just go quickly through that because that All might right. be an interesting thing for next time. Uh, but we have high school, we call them high schools. Um, and it's, it can be three to four years. And uh, there we still have a Nastavnik in Nastavnica. Mm. So, okay, yeah. no change this time. Good. <laughs> no, it's still, I was thinking like, oh, maybe we said professor, but no, professor is only at the university professor oh okay and, cool. and it doesn't matter if that person is actually an assistant they're still called professor because it's like a a respect thing yeah. i don't know i see and uh, so you have a four-year uh, grammar school or a gymnasium which we call gymnasia actually mm. i didn't write that one down and you usually have not necessarily but usually like general direction course like opstismer which is like it's kind of like a continuation of your primary school, all of these subjects mm-hmm. like physica, chemia, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so you focus on all of them. Social sciences, if you go to that course, uh, uh, I went there um, to course to the direction. The department or direction. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's like a direction. I don't know how you call it, but yeah. If mm-hmm. you cha- choose that area, then you focus, you have more lessons on social sciences and less on like natural sciences. And natural sciences is just the reverse. So yeah. social sciences is drushtvenismer and a natural is prirodismer. Prirodismer, okay. And then you have professional schools. Like when I say professional, I mean like you have actually a dedicated topic. So it's not a grammar school. So that can be medicine, mm-hmm. medicinska škola. Uh, yeah. That can be electro- electrotechnical, elektrotechnička škola. Um, <laughs> What else? Ekonomska. Ekonomska. Yeah. yeah, I see that a lot here in Krušja. Was Ekonomska. Poljoprivredna, yeah. mm-hmm. which is agriculture, oh, uh, okay. tehnička, and so on. And then you have vocational scores that are like I think th- up to three years, actually just three mm. years. And that's like a, to go for to be a cook or what did I write? Tourism, Just-tich. like <laughs> so, as a kuvara or ugostiteljsko turistička srednja škola. And yeah, and with these oh. schools, three years, you cannot go to the university. You cannot. No. So there is no department for tourism management or something. And, and yes, college. there is, but you have to do. Uh, I think. Gymnasium. Yes, I have to. You have to go to gymnasium in order to. So usually, people that go to uh, grammar school, then they, uh, it it is a given that they will continue something specific, right? So, mm. uh, so you get like more of like a general education and then, uh, so broaden that and then you build on that. Okay. So, yeah. Because it's, cool. it's all about the points that you get. So you get specific mm-hmm. points from, um, I don't know how to explain, but yeah. Anyway, so I think with three years, you can't really go to the university. Mm. You would have to do the, an additional year somehow. Like, I see. like a prep year. year and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Was it easy? I hope for me as a teacher, everything is okay. But <laughs> maybe for some listeners, like, what are they saying? But I mean, if they are going to move into here or if they're going to send their kids to schools yeah, here, they especially know. for those people, it's important. Or if even if you're dating with a Serbian guy or girl, you know what kind of education they got. So useful for everybody. <laughs> Very much grammar oriented. Like, how can I say? Theory oriented. Very much mm. theory oriented. So we are very... Uh, educated but not a lot of practical knowledge so fortunately that's just what it is it's changing probably right now at least it is it is i'm I'm sure (laughs) yeah 
I've been, to, it's been 86 years, you know, <laughs> like when I went to school. So yeah, I'm pretty sure things changed a lot. Yeah. Okay. Hvala puno. Ciao, ciao.